Hey guys, how are you all doing? Well, once again, we are back with a different video today and today I am going to show you guys ways to become better at gameplay in FIFA Mobile like, you know, tips, tricks and all that kind of cool stuff that I do. So we're going to be playing against a 90 overall squad so that, you know, I can show you guys the maximum best we can do and the difficulty level is going to be hard. So it's definitely not going to be one of the easiest matches that we're going to be playing so it should be harder to play therefore making it more effective as a tutorial kind of thing so when i start what i like to do is i click on double pass what this does is makes the player give get a run so you can see the player now has a yellow color mark on top of him which means that he is gonna make the run now so i'll wait for some time and then i'll through lob it how you can do the through lob basically is swipe up from the through th click on the through button and swipe up so what this does is it through lobs the ball which means the player will keep running and the ball will go to him now guys something that you might notice in the game is like right now green our opponent here his stats show a double red color arrow beside his name now what the red color arrow signifies is that his stats are actually higher than the player who we are having right now with the possession so therefore it isn't the best option to actually try to you know sprint past him or roulette past him therefore you should try to play against opponents who have a green mark with them now guys ea also gives us a hint in the game by circling the best player to pass to at the particular moment so basically right now you can see delhi ali has a circle around him right at the bottom which signifies this is the best player to pass to at the moment and he'll be the player actually making the run apart unless you have already triggered a player to through ball let's move back to the through lob so as you can see i did the through lob right there do a roulette and what you see right here so now what does the equal to sign signify that it shouldn't be the hardest to go against this guy we kind of did lose the ball but well pass it back and roulette and shoot Roulette and shoot is pretty good. If your striker is having good shooting, it's a pretty good thing to do. Now let's go back to a corner kick here. As you can see, our player, he is tall. Therefore, I clicked on him. But if he wasn't as tall, I would have clicked a little bit in front of him so he can get to the ball and head it inside. So as you see, I take the corner and boom. Let's just pause it right there once again. You look at the direction he's pointing at. So if your players have good physical, they'll definitely shoot in pretty well. Auto, always keep it on auto. auto. Don't try to uh, switch it around so much while actually taking headers and corner kicks because it may go out of play instead. So just let the auto play do the thing right there. Now, another moment in the game, well, I have to defend this time. And you see here, Wine, okay, our center back. How he defends, how I make him defend is I actually don't make him move from there. So what I like to do a lot in this game while defending especially is try not to make my defenders move a lot. Make the central midfielders chase their strike, chase the opponent strikers but don't make the defenders do it. And wow, what a tackle. Bam, he's freaking make me, made me fall down right there pretty hard. Alright, back into the game once again and we have to defend again here. So... As I told you guys before, but well, if you don't have an option of a central midfielder, make your players sprint and tackle. Sprint and tackle. Don't make them go slowly because it doesn't work. Don't try to bring in the second defender. That definitely is the worst thing to do in the game. But definitely sprint and tackle. Again here, sprint and tackle. Because that makes the player, you know, since, since my defenders are fast enough, I can definitely catch up with my opponents and sprint and tackle, you know, pass it as soon as you get the ball. And there once again, this one here is a pretty important one. Our player has very good physical. Our, our player has very good physical. So he's pushing the player behind him. Therefore, physical is actually pretty important. Also, I am pointing in the direction I want to take the ball because I want to change the direction of the ball. I am already pointing in that direction. Sprint and skill shouldn't be touched right now. But when I pass, change direction and then start sprinting. Don't try to sprint before because it may just, you know, knock the ball forward, which is definitely not something we want to do. And then easily score some goals by rouletting and shooting. Now, starting the ball once again, our opponent starting, so we definitely have to defend. I like to make my strikers directly come and, you know, try to take the ball there in the beginning as well. I don't like to make my central mid defend central defenders actually wait for the opponent to come. I make my striker run through with my opponent strikers. And then here you can see again, swipes are actually pretty great in the game. 
you know i love to swipe in the game especially with the strikers well obviously with the strikers because they usually the guy scoring but i like to swipe i like to shoot curve shots because they actually do go pretty well and the physics on that are actually improved a little bit this season so it's a good thing to do that stuff so as you guys can see i won 3-2 in the game against a 90 overall squad in a difficulty that was hard now guys let's move on into another game so we are going to be moving on into another game against an 85 over overall this time not that good but well we're still gonna try and maybe score more goals this time than we did last time you know to and to also show you guys some other things that we should be doing in the game so a corner as i told you guys before don't really do anything leave it on auto and you know let your players do the trick but well you have to point you have to at least choose where you have to shoot the ball from so you have to click on the screen where you want your players to come and shoot or if your player is tall enough just click on him because he can definitely win the ball against your opponent right there and through balls something i love in this game through lob something i love so through ball um you know sprint a little bit roulette sprint more shoot that's that's like my typical goal scoring trick in the game now once again a corner i clicked in front of the player because he was hidden behind also that's like the safest thing to do like really and what the, what the hell you pushed him down like that boy he could have died he could have freaking died don't ever do that again Defending once again, sprint and tackle, do not slide, do not call your second defender, just sprint and tackle with the red direction. And you, you will get the ball eventually if your players are fast enough. Guys, we are going to be now giving you guys a proper gameplay to try and score as many goals as we can and you know play the best we can with all the tips that I have shown you guys in the video also some more tips are going to be coming in this gameplay but well for now let's just start with our basic starting trick of clicking pass you know double pass waiting a little bit through lob get the ball to our striker and roulette or you know pass it here in this case and cut back since we are getting tackled up fam okay we pass it pass it back and boom swipe the swipe man the freaking swipes in this game are phenomenal okay i love i love swiping like that the finish shots the finish shots in the air are amazing okay you know pass um a little bit i'm now i'm gonna show you guys something a little different how to rainbow in the game i have not shown you guys this before so watch closely sprint and skill swipe up from that if your player has the ability you need 90 dribbling stat on your player so you you know make your player 90 dribbling and rainbow in this game is pretty dope that's why that's like the best thing to do Th therefore it is definitely a skill you want to see in your squad now guys as you see the ball went out of play and corners are coming up so corner is like my speciality in this game therefore i don't have a problem just tap anywhere on the screen around the player around a player and Ronaldo was there, therefore he easily received it, headed in pretty easy. Here we are with a um, little bit of a defending on the attack side of it, but we try to swipe from the you know the finish shots kind of thing. Well, like that's like a pretty good. Uh, also now start up, you know you see that we are trying to use our midfielders. Like I told you guys before, sprint with your midfielders and try to get the ball instead of using your defenders to directly come and you know. Try to chase your opponent, try to use your midfielders, but if no chance, well then use your defenders. As you saw the Ronaldo cutting back thingy, I love to do that because it, it's, it's pretty effective and you just need to know where to, you know, just touch. Now something else you see, the white color mark, that's always a hint guys, always a hint. Pretty much I use it a lot and you see that the player made the run, therefore I pass it on to him and now... I'm going to show you guys something, not scoring a goal here, but the D-pad dribbling. Now, this is the advanced dribbling skill. You have to click double times on the D-pad and then your players do this. It, they keep possession of the ball for longer this way. And yeah, we kind of lost the ball, but we gained the ball and we shot the ball and boom, that was a pretty sick goal right there. Okay, so once again, we use a striker to now chase down our opponent. Got the same rating, equal to sign right there. The same stats, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, never, you know, call a second defender, but always try to use your attackers and midfielders to do it. Roulette. That's like a pretty easy thing here, guys. Rouletting past your opponents. I don't even know why I did that pass, but shoot. Now, guys, something you have to see right here. How much power to use while taking the shot. While you're taking a shot, depending on your player's stats, you need to know all your player's stats in detail, or at least the main stats for them. 
Like I know Sinclair doesn't have the best long shot abilities that's why I'm using half the bar for him to take the shot from just outside the box but if your player has a good long shot ability you don't need that much bar really or if he has good shot power you don't need to use that much of the bar to shoot goals like that Okay guys that wraps up the video for today but I want to really take a moment and remind you of the important things to do look at your player stats know your player stats properly look at the mark on your opponent there does he have a green arrow does he have a red arrow does he have an equal to sign and look at the circular mark around the place around you because that's definitely the best position to you know pass the ball to at the moment and well guys that's basically been it if you guys want me to do more of these videos gameplay tips and tricks kind of things i can definitely do those because i feel like this season i know enough i'm comfortable with the game enough to be able to give you guys tips and tricks like these and i know i haven't covered everything yet because there's so much to do in the game there's so much improvement so many changes gameplay wise but if you guys want you know maybe smash 300 likes on this video and i'll definitely bring out a part 2 maybe not as detailed as this maybe not as um basic as this but maybe a little advanced maybe a little more towards taking your opportunities better yeah guys that's basically been it thanks for watching bye bye